Two things before we get started. First, this video is sponsored in part by Morning Brew. Second, this video is also part of a collaboration called Project Dictator. You really ought to check out all the videos for it in the playlist in the description of this video. But first, uh, watch this video, okay? Are you watching? Listening's fine too. Oh, and a word of warning. This video is about killing. I'm Mr. Beat, and let the record stand that I have never killed anyone. Not even once. You do believe me, don't you? Anyway, I think killing is wrong. I even wrote a song called Killing is Wrong. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I dance to my own songs. Most of us couldn't even imagine ourselves ever killing another human being, also known as homicide. We tend to view killers as bad. No, not the band, the killers. They're great. We view people who kill others as bad. And yet, people justify killing all the time. In fact, capital punishment, or the government killing someone as punishment for a crime, is legal in dozens of countries around the world. Killing is only called murder when it's illegal. And murder is illegal pretty much everywhere. In fact, if you murder someone, you can be killed for it as punishment. Wait a second. But it's not always so simple. We often kill in order to save lives. There's killing as self-defense. There's a term called, quote, manslaughter, which means killing someone without meaning to. Like, perhaps it was an accident. But there's also, quote, voluntary manslaughter, in which someone killed someone else on purpose, but it was in a crazy circumstance that would cause a reasonable person to fear for their life. For example, if someone is attacked on the street and defending themselves, they kill the attacker. Killing is also legal in war. Sure, we've made laws to limit violence on civilians or folks who are not soldiers in the armed services, but otherwise... I wanted to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. I wanted to be the first kid on my block to get a confirmed kill. Even in war, nearly all of us have to be trained to kill. It's not something most of us are comfortable doing, even if our own life might be immediately in danger. Today, we are both horrified by and fascinated by serial killers, or killers who murder three or more people. We fear terrorists and mass shooters. We wonder, how could these people do such evil acts? And yet, throughout history, there have been humans directly responsible for the killing of not just one person, or even a few people, but millions of people. When we think about world leaders who have killed the most people, three often immediately come to mind. Adolf Hitler, the dictator of Nazi Germany from 1933 until his death in 1945. Joseph Stalin, the dictator of the Soviet Union from 1922 until his death in 1953. And Mao Zedong, the dictator of China from 1949 until his death in 1976. Indeed, there are strong arguments that they are the worst three mass murderers in human history. That said, it's more complicated than statistics. The numbers don't tell the whole story. The three were not equally ruthless. For example, Adolf Hitler is, in my opinion, the most ruthless of the three. The way Hitler orchestrated genocide, or the deliberate and systematic destruction of a group, is well documented and arguably the most blatant. His most infamous genocide was the Holocaust, which was the murder of around six million Jews across German-occupied Europe during World War II. It's estimated that over just one three-month period during the war, Hitler oversaw the killing of more than 1.3 million Jews. Hitler also oversaw the 
the killing of more than 1.5 million Romani people. He oversaw the killing of people with disabilities, homosexuals, Poles, Russians, Jehovah's Witnesses, and those sympathetic to socialism and communism. The vast majority of the people killed under Hitler's watch were civilians, and they were killed quickly. Now, we will never know the exact number of people killed by these dictators. Historians can only estimate based on the limited records they have. Based on that, Hitler was responsible for the deaths of between 16 and 20 million people. In my opinion, Joseph Stalin was almost as ruthless as Hitler. However, not nearly as many people killed under Stalin's rule were explicitly murdered. According to the historian Stephen Wheatcroft, Stalin oversaw around one million straight up murders, but the vast majority of deaths under his rule were due to neglect. For example, some estimate that as many as 12 million people died in Stalin's gulag, or system of labor camps set up throughout the Soviet Union. These these camps were hell on earth, where people literally were worked to death. In 1942, nearly one out of every four prisoners died in one of these camps. One Soviet politician named Andrew Vyshinsky once wrote about the conditions, quote, Among the prisoners there are some so ragged and lice-ridden that they pose a sanitary danger to the rest. These prisoners have deteriorated to the point of losing any resemblance to human beings. Lacking food, they collect trash and, according to some prisoners, eat rats and dogs. In the Great Purge of 1937 alone, Stalin was responsible for the deaths of up to 1.2 million people as he hunted down anyone who still might be sympathetic to his old political rival, Leon Trotsky. As many as 7 million more people died due to a famine caused by Stalin's collective farming policies in the early 1930s. Many were Ukrainians. Today, historians call it the Holodomor, or Terror Famine which emphasizes how this was a human-created problem that Stalin's policies caused. Another up to 1.5 million unnecessarily died in another Soviet famine that Stalin could not only have prevented, but also could have ended. And of course, there were the judicial executions and straight-up massacres of Stalin's political opponents. Altogether, Stalin was responsible for the deaths of between an estimated 40 and 60 million people. If the 60 million figure is accurate, that would mean he was responsible for an average of 2 million deaths each year of his reign. Mao Zedong was responsible for more deaths than any other person in history. That said, Mao Zedong was probably the least ruthless of the three, in my opinion. He was still pretty freaking ruthless. There is evidence that he was responsible for systematically killing between four and six million people through China's so-called justice system and, quote, reform through labor camps. All told, perhaps as many as 25 million died in these camps during Mao's reign. Most killed were so-called, quote, counter-revolutionaries. Some were sent simply because of their religion. Most of the deaths he and his regime caused were by accident. His Great Leap Forward campaign in the late 1950s and early 1960s was a complete and total disaster, especially the, you guessed it, collective farming policies. Probably at least 30 million people died from starving to death in what became known as the Great Chinese Famine. Yep, the Great Leap Forward was quite the leap backward, causing the deadliest famine in history. However, it's not easy to place all the blame on Mao himself. A lot of other trends probably also contributed to the disaster. And finally, there was the violence and chaos caused by Mao's Cultural Revolution. It's possible that nearly 20 million people died during it. Altogether, Mao was responsible for the deaths of between 60 and 80 million people. Incredibly, millions still view Mao today as a hero, as someone who liberated China from Imperial Japan and imperialism in general, as someone who helped advance women's rights, basic health care, education, and literacy, and as someone who helped modernize China into a leading world power. But 80 million people? 
Come on, man. Mao Zedong, Joseph Stalin, and Adolf Hitler, just the three of them, have possibly been directly responsible for the deaths of up to 160 million people. To put that in perspective, all of Russia currently has around 146 million people. So three people causing the deaths of 160 million people. It's really difficult to wrap your head around those numbers. In fact, there's this quote often attributed to Joseph Stalin. Quote, if only one man dies of hunger, that is a tragedy. If millions die, that's only statistics. Indeed, our brains have a hard time processing big numbers, and only looking at numbers can blind us to the tragedy of each death. However, when each number represents a human life, we ought to think about every person in our own life who we love. I'm gonna guess that you probably love at least one other person. You probably love several people, actually. And if one of them died, it would be devastating to you. So now multiply that by 130 million. Still can't wrap your head around it, can you? The bottom line is we must do whatever we can to make sure people like Mao, Stalin, and Hitler never come to power again. Every morning, Twitter used to be my go-to place to see what was up with the world. But as you probably already know, Twitter can be a rotten, dirty place. Instead, now I start my day with Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. While traditional news is dry, dense, and boring, Morning Brew is witty, relevant, and informative. Hey, there's me reading Morning Brew. I've been reading their email newsletter almost every single day for the past six months. I know this might sound unbelievable to most of you, but I literally found out about the Will Smith Oscar slap on morning brew. I'm not joking. But there's no reason not to subscribe if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. It's easy. You can subscribe in less than 15 seconds. It's completely free. So just subscribe to Morning Brew today by clicking the link in the description of this video. And thanks to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. So Mao, Stalin, and Hitler are three of the most infamous dictators in world history. But what about other lesser known dictators? Well, this video is part of a collaboration called Project Dictator. A bunch of history YouTubers decided to make videos about different dictators throughout history. And I put the playlist in the description of this video. So check out all the videos to learn about many different dictators. Who was the most evil? Stalin, Hitler, or Mao? Let me know in the comments below. Also, there are different ways to help out my channel other than the obvious ways like clicking the like button or subscribing. You could, I don't know, share this video with your grandma. Share all my videos with your grandma. I hear your grandma has been getting into some trouble lately, so perhaps my videos might be a good distraction for her, if you know what I mean. Give it a try.